What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are just going to be taking a quick look through the weekly content and the new weekly stuff. Well, I say new uh, in brackets. I mean, there isn't a lot of new stuff here. Obviously, the big thing that they talked about, I will cover this in one video because there isn't a massive amount that they've added, right? So they did add V2.4.2, which is now available to download. And this is the features of it. So there's no gameplay changes. There's nothing really there. Quality of life changes, anything like that. But what they have added with V2.4.2 is the BBVA MX, the J, J League 1 and the J League 2 for trial match. So those teams are now available in trial match. If you want to play trial match offline, you can use any of the Mexican uh, first division and uh, Japanese first and second division teams. They've also added on with that then as well, data updates and the strips for J League 1 and 2. Um, they've added balls for online events and online events uh, have also got advertising boards and stadium uh, boards and tabards as well. They are only for online events, which we'll get to in a second. And they also talk about just general fixes. So a lot of people were, I'm going to get into it, man, but a lot of people were talking about co-op and talking about this. I, I, I'm getting sick of repeating myself, man. They're like, don't be believing leaks and rumors and clickbait stuff. Like, if they're going to bring a new feature, a, bring, a brand new feature, they're going to announce it ahead of time. They're going to talk about it when they release it. And they're also going to be trying to hype it up to get more people to play. So they've already announced V2.5, which is going to be adding new features to Dream Team. They're not going to stealth drop co-op into a V2.4.2 update. So anyway... But uh, they do talk about some other stuff that they've fixed as well. A couple of quality of life for just bugs. Uh, not really gameplay related, right? On to the content then as well. As I said, the spring update will be coming in April 2023. So next month, we will be getting V2.5. I've already covered that in a previous video. Um, so introducing then the new cards or the new events. Uh, we have nothing in authentic. We haven't had an authentic match for a while. But everything is going to be Dream Team centric here. Um, you've obviously got your league still ongoing. The league is over, I think the end of the month, is it the 15th? No, it's the 6th of April. Uh, the league is going to be resetting. So you have a couple of more days to play that if you do want to. You've got two weeks to play the divisions and get your eFootball points and stuff like that. Um, these events that they've added. So this is actually a pretty cool event. I'll probably be playing this on one of my live streams to see what the gameplay is like. This ends in three days time. They've also added a new national team one um, where if you get the winning uh, main reward there, you get a free spin at the player of the week this week. Um, they've also added the national teams one here against the AI. That one is still ongoing. You can win that one and there's a load of rewards, including uh, 30,000 trainer points there. And the rest of the points, you're going to just get rinsed and repeated with the international teams. You get all your points and training points the whole way until you get 10,000 uh, points for playing this so very easy again to do um we've also got the liga bbva one so that is getting a chance deal that's been ongoing for ages these are not new and of course you do have your 50 e-football coins as well which they have rehashed today that is playing from uh, online pvp matches this is still ongoing as well uh where you get training points we've already covered that and then this of course is online so they've added this uh from the other day with the challenge event 50 coins to win on that so you can get 100 coins from playing those boat matches there and obviously this one is going to have all those new v2.4.2 additions the boards the balls the stadium stuff um and obviously when you do this one you will be picking these teams to include uh, or your players must include players from these teams here so uh you need to include japanese j1 league players um with it with the ultimate prize being 50 e football coins so yeah, look, I mean, there does need to be a big shakeup, and V2.5, I hope, does that. Uh, other than that, the rest of the stuff that you're going to be focused on, there's nothing in new in the shop, um, in the eFootball Points shop, in case anybody asks there. There's nothing new there. All these players are going to be staying there for quite a while, as you can see. They'll probably add more with V2.5. Um, but the rest of it then is going to be cards. So um, there is a couple of new missions and objectives and stuff, but the rest of the stuff is going to be cards. The first one is the Epic Netherlands pack. You've got Schneider, Cruyff and Davids. I've done a review and training guide on these players. So check them out. We go into detail. And then, of course, you have the player of the week um, where there's some decent players in this. Obviously, Kessie is going to be the big one. Saka. We've got left back Carrasco. He could be the pick of the pack, actually. 
uh, based on that and we will be testing out those as well on our live streams and in dream team chronicles and then the rest of it obviously the napoli ones we will be getting a look ahead as well at the future packs that are going to be coming for the eFootball Championship Volume 2, which will be coming Monday, the 26th, I think. So um, just to give a quick look at them. So over on eFootball DB, they are the new Volume 2 players. Obviously, the player levels will be upgraded, but you've got Casemiro, uh, Goretzka, Kunde, Barella, Nabri, uh, Jesus, Shaw, Zinchenko. There's a lot of good players here, man. Um, a lot of repeated players as well, but that's just a quick look at them um so yeah that's pretty much it lads obviously these are still ongoing but that's pretty much it for me with a weekly roundup i will let you know when i am streaming next if you guys want to check that out and until next time peace